Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, November 24th, and it is a cold and rainy day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. But that's okay, we got a nice warm shop to work in today. Uh, it's early. I like early. It's quiet. And as I say that, the furnace will turn on or the dogs will start barking. You know how it is. It is cold. I fully expect we'll see some furnace activity this morning. <laughs> so if you see cuts, you know what that's for. Uh, got a old corn cob pipe here. I don't remember exactly how old. I uh, just realized the stem's not set in there properly. Yeah, we'll worry about it later. Um, it's got to be. It's got to be ten years. And uh, I am smoking old Joe Krantz. Uh The reason I'm smoking old Joe Krantz, and this is old Joe Krantz from September of 2016, so three years or so age, uh, and coffee. Um, the reason I'm smoking old Joe Krantz is kind of funny. I, you, you know, I've been on this haunted bookshop kick for a while. And Haunted Bookshop is, I mean, it's, it's a great blend. It's, it's certainly, if I had to choose just, you know, three to keep, it would be one of those. And for that reason, I've been cellaring it uh, with retirement in mind. Uh, you know, not that I'm retiring tomorrow, but, you know, might as well start now because uh, it's never going to get cheaper. So I made this sort of personal rule that I will not, you know, once it's cellared, the door is closed on that until I'm retired. I will not open up any haunted bookshop because I, I do have a problem with it. I just can't seem to stop smoking it once I have it. So I ran out of my, you know, fresh supply, and I started to smoke some other things. And you know, I got the Thanksgiving Day in, and uh, I, I had I wanted to have some of that uh, early flake number one that I talked about. So. I went for about, I think it's close to a month now, with, without any haunted bookshop. And it, at one point during that, I said, oh, I better get some, and it was sold out everywhere. And I know several of you guys had commented on that. And then I actually got a message from, I think it was, uh, I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. But, but someone sent me a, a message saying it's, it's back in stock. And it was funny because it was about 24 hours before I got the notification from smoking pipes that it was back in stock. Um, at that point, I was kind of still uh, buried in uh, Thanksgiving Day, and I still had half a tin of the Burley Flake, and I had some Peretti uh, number eight slices going, and I thought, eh, I don't need to get it now. And a couple of days ago, I just said, I need to have some Haunted Bookshop right now. So. <laughs> I ordered it, it hasn't come in yet, and in desperation yesterday, I opened up Haunted Bookshop's little brother, Old Joe Krantz. For those that don't know, Old Joe Krantz is Haunted Bookshop with extra um, Red Virginia. So it's it's basically Haunted Bookshop, but it's got more of a uh, depth to the sweetness in, from those Virginias. Um, and especially, that's especially prevalent after some age. Oh, and by the way, I... I, I'm back in familiar territory just because it's familiar and comfortable. Uh, I haven't yet figured out how to do Sunday chats over on the in the new shop, but we'll eventually get there. All of my tampers are over there, so I'm using the uh, <laughs> the best thing I could find, which works just fine. So, the. Uh, Let's see, I got a couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, it's Thanksgiving week, so this Thursday is Thanksgiving, and I'm sure uh, many of you are looking forward to that. Uh, I know it's a uniquely U.S. thing, and uh, I know that you folks in Canada have already had your Thanksgiving, um, but here in the U.S., we're we're looking forward to this Thursday, and you know I think it is always good to, you know, it sounds a bit cliche, but to take, take out a little bit of time and, and think about what it is that you're, you're grateful for. And, you know, I, I personally have a lot to be grateful for, as I'm sure, you know, if you, if you sit back and think about it, no matter how bad your situation is, there's always something that uh, you can be thankful for. And, you know, there's all the obvious stuff that, that is absolutely true and everyone is going to say, so 
thankful for my family. I'm thankful for uh, close friends and, and, and the fact that I have a roof over my head and I have a job that I enjoy going to every day and, uh, you know, all that kind of good stuff. I'm thankful for my, my, my pipe and my tobacco. Uh, it, it, it's something that I enjoy and, and uh, makes me happy. So I'm thankful to have that. Uh, there, there's so many little things that, that I'm thankful for that, you know, it's, it, it, it starts to sound a little bit silly and you sound almost like you're, you're writing a, a greeting card or something. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go fishing, uh, either Tuesday or Thursday, I'm not sure which. Yes, I can actually fish on Thanksgiving days and that's something. And I'm, I'm really thankful for, you know, being able to, to stand by the side of a, of a stream and, and, and just enjoy the natural beauty. Um, there's, there's just so many things. But you know, what I wanted to, to really focus on is the fact that I'm, I'm really thankful for, for you guys, for, for you and for, for this platform and, and this opportunity that we have to, to all get together and, and chat about things, uh, whatever, whatever strikes our fancy, not just pipes, but, but just life in general. And it really is unique. And it amazes me how many um, friends I have out there, and I'll get to the air quotes in a minute, who are, you know, excellent people and, and very friendly and all that, but some of those turn into real, actual friends, people that I talk to on the phone, people that I, I've met in person, uh, that, that I stay in contact with. Uh, you know, it just it, it amazes me how, how that's happened, because I think I've talked about this before, but my wife is a bit of a uh, uh, my face addict, and she, uh, you know what I mean, Facebook, she has, you know, hundreds and hundreds of friends, and I know there are people out there that have thousands and thousands of friends, and, and she'll say something to me like, oh, Betty did this today, and uh, there, there's no Betty. And I'll, I'll say, oh, I, I don't know Betty, and she's, oh, Betty lives in, you know, I, I, I don't know her either, but she's one of my friends. It, it's not the same thing. I've, I've never seen her say, you know, oh, Betty's going to call me tonight and we're going to talk for a while. Or Betty has uh, something she wants to send me, you know, or I want to send her something. It's just not the same thing. There's something about this, this mode of interaction. And maybe it's the fact that we're all pipe smokers and pipe smokers just tend to be good people. But there's something about this YouTube experience that turns virtual friends into real true friends and I appreciate that greatly and I appreciate very much the fact that you guys take some time out of your day to watch me sit here in my basement and babble on about nonsense so I hope you keep doing that I have a surprise for you uh, this Wednesday assuming the stars align and it looks like they're aligning at this point uh, I am going to do a, um, uh, a shop video. So there will be a shop video posted this Wednesday, and I'm hoping that that will begin much more regular shop videos than we've had over the past months. And, and you all know why I haven't been doing it, doing the shop uh, renovations and stuff. But boy, it was well worth the time down. It is such a joy to work over there, and uh, you know, just to have good light, to have you know, here this is. What I'm sitting at right now is my woodworking bench. And it's a good solid bench, but it's designed for woodworking. So anything that I needed to like clamp down to, I, I didn't want to screw into it and stuff. So just having that vise permanently mounted rather than clamped to the edge, and it's just solid and it's, it's just a joy to work over there. Having everything at hand's reach, not having to turn around every time I want something. Really, really nice. And what I'm working on right now and I am working over there, I just brought this over here to show you, is I'm doing a stem replacement on this poker, and I think that is going to look really, really cool when it's done. Um, the customer wanted a black ripple, uh, and that's what we got here. You can see some of the really cool patterns in that. So the plan is I'm going to make this, um, so you can't see, but the, the stem shank junction is here. This is a marker for where I'm going to begin a saddle, and I'll bring the you know the saddle all the way down, make it a very nice thin stem, and then give it a quarter bend, and I'm I'm hoping that it will sit then. 
Uh, it'll definitely sit once there's tobacco in the in the chamber, but I'm hoping it'll just sit regularly. Uh, but yeah, I think I think he really picked a, a fantastic acrylic there. So I'm looking forward to seeing that done, as I'm sure he is. Um, I think that's really about all that I had to say this morning. So I'm going to continue to smoke this and get to, to work on this and drink more coffee and just enjoy the morning. So I hope you all have a very enjoyable morning, a great Sunday, and a fantastic week ahead. A very happy Thanksgiving to all you folks that are, um, that are celebrating it. And to all you folks that are not celebrating it, we'll be thankful for you too. Because uh, I'm thankful for for your uh, your sponsorship, your your subscription, your the time you take to comment. I'm I'm thankful for all of you for doing that. So with that, folks, I'm going to uh, draw this one to a close. So until we meet again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. <laughs>